Y'all know. I don't see it, so for them, yeah. Okay. Grand Rising Cosmic Family, Grand Rising Cosmic Family, welcome to class, welcome to class. You said mom said this was, this was old or something? Mm -hmm. Maybe it is. You hand me one out. Layla, hand me that red dragon sage out there. Welcome to class, everybody. Welcome to class. We got a deep download. We're gonna be speaking about numerology. We in here. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. I love you. Hey, I don't know if y'all was on live last night. IG, we was lit. Over lit. We stayed up there like 5 a.m. So hopefully y'all caught that live. We was on there for a minute though. No lie. Uh, welcome in. I see y'all getting in here. Welcome to class. We just get settled in. Y'all ain't missed nothing yet. Trust me. You ain't missed nothing, Reflections. Spread the word, let know we live. We back with some more God talk, this place is probably. I'm 
money the mine Runnin' with two fuck, yeah, I love this when we fix mine Be my tail sign, I ain't cool and I like six nine I'm a fool that you find it, I'm thinking you don't find it The struggle could never hurt me, it's motivated or inspired Mentally I'm aligned, it's a new one to sign Me study my diction, it was worse than never the final My algorithm's different, he's speaking about going viral Can't show these niggas love, cause then they start feeling entitled Y'all know, go on the forum, let them know we live. Go on Twitter, Instagram, let them know we live, y'all. Let y'all get in class, let y'all get in class. Oh, you know how we go. But in prayer, I go Peter, they know how we go. 
Everybody get in here. We have 599 uh, viewers in class right now. 600. We in here. Welcome to class. Well, y'all will get up in here. I'm waiting on y'all class. I'm just a professor sitting at the at the at the goddamn desk waiting for class to start. Letting y'all get in here. If you roll, you smoke. Roll up if you drink. Pull up if you don't drink or smoke. Just chill. Go spread the word, we live.
right reflections welcome to class welcome to class i see 710 souls in class so look before we get started we're gonna open it up with the right with the right energy hold on set the set the vibratory frequency the correct way
Okay, okay. Had to set the vibratory frequency right real quick. Welcome to class, welcome to class. 850 souls in class right now, we finna get into it. So look, tonight we finna talk about numerology and how angels speak through numbers, all right? So before we before we really get into um, numerology and how angels speak through numbers, the first thing we need to do is we need to find out about who started numerology? Okay, what is numerology? All right, so numerology is considered a, a, a pseudoscience, you know, by the oppressors. We know that anything that's considered a pseudoscience is limited in the respect that it gets from the system, right? So, also, what's the main things that they call pseudosciences? Um, anything dealing with the occult. Anything dealing with the with the mystical realms, anything dealing with mystic with the mystic arts, all right. Um, when you get to getting into quantum physics, metaphysics, these are called pseudosciences, right? When you get to talking about like witchcraft, sorcery, voodoo, hoodoo, pseudosciences. And when you start believing in, um what they like to call paranormal activity, the belief of a spiritual realm outside of the flesh, pseudoscience. Um, anything dealing with those energies are considered a pseudoscience. Reflections, y'all with me? So numerology falls under that category as a pseudoscience. So I think we are familiar with numerology. You know, they tell you if you see a certain number on the clock, look it up. 1022. One, one, two. I mean, whatever number you see, if you keep seeing the number repeatedly over and over again, it has been believed since the beginning of their time. Because remember, they created time. All right. So since the beginning of their time, all right, their man-made time, uh, it was always believed that um, numbers were the language of the universe. And you know, these oppressors, they limit they limit information from us. They never mentioned, mentioned the multiverse, all right? They've only spoken about a universe. They never told us it was nine uh, universes that make up the multiverse with three alternates making it 12 total universes. They never told us that, okay? They never told us that. Um, numerology is an ancient art. Um, it's a part of our ancient arts and it would be considered a part of our magic, just basic communication. All right. So since the, since the beginning of their, of their man-made time, they have always believed, the oppressors, the, the elites have always believed that there are deities that speak to us through these numbers as well. So that the deities in these astral realms, in these unseen realms, that they send messages, okay? And through these messages, through these messages, all right, they speak, but they speak through numbers, all right. Now, we are all familiar with numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Most of us don't know that the highest number is nine. Always was, always will be. However, the numbers that they show us, one, two, three, four, these are, this is watered down math. Watered down some mathematics. The ancient arts is supreme mathematics, right? 
alphabets and numbers are the same thing. All right. This is why numerology. Huh, this is why numerology. All right. In numerology. I'll put it up in a second. In numerology, every number correlates with an alphabet. Okay. In numerology, every number has its own meaning, but the meaning that they give to these numbers are English words. Okay. Now, before we dive deeper into numerology, are we aware of who made numerology? Who created it? This and and brought it to the forefront, to the masses. All right. The individual that created numerology, his name is Pythagoras. The individual creep uh, appreciate you. The individual who created numerology, his name is Pythagoras. All right? So let's look him up. Let's see what Wikipedia has to say about this individual. All right? Because we all believe, most of us who are awoken, we know about numerology. We know that numbers is the language of the universe, but we need to figure out why. So before we can dive deeper into that, we need to figure out who created it. Or who do they give credit? So who created, let's see if I'm on point, who created numerology and look feel free to pull your laptops out your cell phones out y'all can look this shit up while I'm, while I'm mentioning it right but it says right here on if you if you type in google we know we can't believe google everything google say or wikipedia but for lecture references for lecture purposes we're gonna use them today it says who created numerology if you type it in the search box in google it's gonna say pythagoras all right Pythagoras, the Greek mathematician and philosopher who lived from 569 to 470 BC, is known as the father of Western numerology. Now, it's imperative that we that we that we that they emphasize what they emphasize Western for a reason because you have you have Eastern numerology and Western numerology. Eastern numerology is from those continents that they say are located on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean. Even though we know that that's a lie because we know that this is one landmass. We, we understand that now, okay? But they separate Eastern numerology from Western numerology. You have Roman numerology. You have, you know, Phoenician numerology. You'll see many different civilizations had their own version of numerology. Nevertheless, it was all based on, it all shared the same basic principle of this belief that the universe, speak, that, that, that basically there are deities living in, astral, in, in, in the astral planes who want to communicate with us, the gods, that are down here to help guide us, and they do that through numbers. Okay, this is this is the same thing that every civilization shares to have in common. However, if you were to Google who created numerology, like always, they give it back to their self-reflections. So Pythagoras is a Greek mathematician. Now let's look up Pythagoras. All right, let's let's see who was Pythagoras. So I'm typing in Google right now who was Pythagoras. What they gonna tell us? Okay. Let's look him up. Pythagoras. Pythagoras of Samos was an ancient Lonian Greek philosopher and the founder of Pythagorean uh, Pythag 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 Pythagoreanism. All right. His political and religious teachings were well known in Magna Greece. And influenced the philosophies of Plato, Aristotle. These are some of their most ancient philosophers. I told you that. And through them, he also created Western philosophy. So Pythagoras, it was his teachings that influenced Plato and Aristotle. And also the whole Western philosophy. All right. Knowledge of, the, of his life is clouded by legend. Because he had, he had no life. Majority of these Greek mythology, these Greek, the Greeks that they giving y'all names, these are just names they created. I want it to be, I want you to peep. I'm going to keep reading. All right. Knowledge of his life is clouded by legend. But he appears to have been the son of Nechiresa, a gem engraver on the island of Samos. All right. So we know what gems are. What are the gems? 
These are considered gems. Crystals are considered gems. All right. And also, when you give somebody great information for the soul, what do we say? We're dropping gems because it's the same electrical output. The same energy you get from hearing something that's enlightening to the soul, you get that same electricity and energy from crystals. Crystals are gems. That's why when you're giving somebody any form of God talk or you're enlightening them, somebody going to say, oh, thanks for the gems or you're dropping gems. OK. And then with us being electrical beings. All right. This is why when they created the rubber soles, they put bottom of our eyes on our feet they call them gym shoes gym shoes all right because these are gems to the, the the rubber soles are gems to the elite because the elites are the oppressors who are trying to limit your electricity you are electricity at your core so they have to limit your output all right they have de-amplified your electricity and your energy you have to amplify your electricity and your in your, in your magnetism and your energy okay so this is the whole thing behind gems. But anyway, let's keep going. Pythagoras was the son of Nessa Teresa, who was a gem engraver. So he basically stole crystals and engraved them. All right. Modern scholars disagree regarding Pythagoras' education and influences. But they do agree that around 530 BC, he traveled to Croton in southern Italy, where he founded a school in which initiates were sworn to secrecy and live the communal ascetic lifestyle, okay? So for those of you who don't know what ascetic is, I got you, I'll click on it. This is how you research something. Don't just jump over words when you look shit up. Dive into the words you might not have to be familiar with, all right? So what is asceticism, all right? Asceticism is the lifestyle characterized by abstinence from sensual pleasures, often for the purpose of pursuing greater spiritual goals, all right? Ascetics may withdraw from the world for their practices or continue to be part of their society, but typically adopt a frugal lifestyle characterized by the renunciation of material possessions and physical pleasures. And they also spend time fasting while concentrating on the practices of religion or reflecting upon spiritual matters. Various individuals have also attempted an ascetic lifestyle to free themselves from addictions. Some of them particular to modern life such as alcohol, tobacco, drugs, entertainment, sex, food, etc., etc., etc. All right. Asceticism has been historically observed in many religious traditions, including Buddhism, Jainism, Hinduism, Islam, Christianity, Judaism, and Pythagoreanism, and contemporary practices continue amongst some religious followers to this day. All right. So we're going to keep going on and on and on and on. If I did things like it, I... We ain't going to do all that. We ain't going to Erica about do the situation right now. But you have an understanding of what they mean when they say uh, 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 that they were sworn into secrecy, people that follow Pythagoras, and they were living, trying to live an ascetic lifestyle. So they were trying to meditate. They were trying to get away from it. They were trying to master their chakras, basically what we do today. The awoken ones, we start fasting, we start meditating, we start breaking away from just using sex as pleasure. We're trying to get more into using it just to procreate or way as an energy exchange to build one another or feed each other further downloads or to manifest. All right, because sex magic is one of the best ways to manifest anything. All right, because the sexual energy is one of the most powerful forms of energy. The energy omitted from the solar plexus is one of the most powerful. This is how, how you got to think. This is how avatars get created. It starts with, with, with the soul selecting the parent. All right. So this lifestyle entailed a number of dietary prohibitions traditionally said to have included vegetarianism. Although modern scholars doubt that he ever advocates for complete vegetarianism. OK, so this is who Pythagoras is. All right. So then they say the teachings of Pythagoras most securely identified with, Pyth with Pythagoras and metapsychosis. What is metapsychosis? Okay, so a lot of y'all don't know what metapsychosis is. You can look it up. Metapsychosis is like the transmigration of the soul. Okay, so from 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 the from from the flesh to recognizing yourself for what you are, which is a luminous being. All right. So what I'm I'm saying I have to say I'm not gonna keep reading about this whole ass nigga that they made up anyway. All right, I'm saying I have to say this to be honest with you. Look at all this ancient energy that they place it under his name and his teachings of what he was doing. Now, I want you to notice who Pythagoras, where he come from, y'all? Greece. And I told you, their most powerful civilization is Greeks. 
All right? But who did the Greeks study from, y'all? Us. So they not going to say that right there. When you trying to find out who created numerology, they give that to Pythagoras. You see what I'm saying? As if we not here right now. Just like if you ask them who created the pyramids, they're going to say aliens from some foreign constellation. They can kiss my ass, man. And I hope you I hope they can kiss yours too. Because what you gotta understand, I didn't even want to read that. I just want to make a point that this advanced science of numerology, we taught them that as well. And they don't say that. They make it seem like they made it up. They they give it all to Pythagoras. All right. Asceticism and vegan vegan vegan. They was they they meat eaters, nigga. You really think the white boys was trying to motherfucking figure out? How to not eat meat. They can't help themselves. Human beings need meat. They need it. They are car they are cannibals. They are consider they are they were spliced with four different animals. The snub nosed lemur, the dog, the pig, I mean the wolf, the snub nose, the snub nosed monkey, the lemur, the wolf, and the pig. Alright? And one drop of our DEA. So human beings need blood. They need that cannibalism because that's the animal DNA in them. We have two totally different makeups, genetic makeups. However, we can't eat meat. We're supposed to be really eating plants, we energy, water, fruit, vegetables. All right. So do you really think because veganism would be a form of, of living in a, in a, in a um, of asceticism? All right. No different than when you're trying to be abstinent or you're trying to meditate or fast. That's all a part of, 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 of asceticism. Okay? But they give that credit to Pythagoras. All right? We taught Pythagoras that. So this is why if you look at the root of numerology, it is based around these deities, these, these advanced beings... These gods or angels who give messages to the gods and the high vibrational human beings right here in this realm on this planet. And they give many messages, but one of their greatest ways of giving mess messages is through numbers. Now, we created the, num the Roman numeral for them. It was a watered down version of supreme mathematics. Remember what numbers are, Roman numerals. Okay, let's look up. Who, who they going to give Roman numerals to? Who created Roman num numerals? Let's see what Google said. Who created... Roman numerals? Overview. The numeral system was developed by the Romans and was used by most Europeans for nearly 1,800 years, which we know they as wasn't here that long. Far longer than the current Hindu Arabic system has been in existence. So, who did Romans get the ideas for numbers from? The Roman numeral system was descended from ancient. Etruscan numerals itself adapted from the, once again, the Greek Attic symbols. Every fucking thing you look up, anything in history, nigga, they're going to trace it back to Greece because that was their first civilization. Before they were Greeks, they was motherfucking Neanderthals in the cage. It was the Moors who sat down and we gave them the Roman numeral because they, they don't have a soul, so they don't have the metaphysical makeup to understand the advanced Energies and celestial energies that make up supreme mathematics. Okay, all their philosophies go trace back to Greek, Greece. So like the alphabets, we we are the alpha beings, and they were the betas, and we gave them an alpha beta system so that they could communicate with each other as well as us, because they lacked the once again the metaphysical makeup. They lacked the genetics. So the codes are in our genetics, right? This is why they say we have the meta gene. They call us meta humans, right? So everything we created was a dumbed down version of what we were already doing so that we can give them a way to, 
you know, we were easing them into being gods because we were trying to get them there because they were made in our image. Remember that. So we were reverse engineering everything for these human beings. All right. So you got to understand that about numerology first. All right. You got to understand that part. Now that you have that part understood, we can look at it and see like, OK, well, now who were the angels? All right. The angels are these deities that they talk about in numerology because they tell you the angels speak through numbers. But who the fuck are the angels, though? Who the angels? Once again, I can tell you the angels ain't no little white babies naked with wings flying around. If you look up angels right now, everybody put, go to Google and type in angels. Let's see what they tell us. I bet you they're going to show white people with wings. Put in now, put in better your angels of God and put in images. Right, exactly. Like I said, white people with wings, nigga. Once again, they whitewashed all the history. So, even when you get into numerology and you're like, you know what? The angels speak through numbers, which they do. You got different type of angels. You got regular angelic beings. Then you have guardian angels. These are the individuals. Let me give you the difference. The guardian angels are the ones who are speaking through the numbers to you. Each soul is assigned a guardian angel. This is a race of beings, all right, from the astral realms. And their specific job is to help souls get back to the highest version of themselves. One, one, one. I see y'all 1100, 1111 individuals on live right now. I see y'all class. I see y'all university. Give it up. Of the university, all right, but the you got different, you got three different type of angels. Okay, the original angelic beings are us. Okay, you have 72 demonic forces locked within your DEA, little or knows all over you. These are these are these are the titans, all right, aka the, 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 the demons in you. You also have 72 angelic beings within you, these are all feminine energies. 72 plus 72 together makes 144. This is where, and it's 144 of these energies, these feminine energies in you, all right? And they are all warrior energies that are designed to help you be what you are, a galaxy destroying, a spiritual assassin, and a protector of, of, of the realm, all right? You have these energies locked within your genetics. This is what coronavirus is about. This is what the vaccine is about, I should say. The vaccine is all about sealing up those 72 demons and 72 angelic beings within you. The demons, the demons, the 72 demons in you are the titans, all right, all the Titans that were here originally, because the Titans was a separate race of beings, but they were gods too, but they were Titans. They left a piece of themselves in our in our genetics. Marvel has a new movie coming out called Eternals. I advise everybody to go watch it because it's basically talking about what I'm saying right now. And I've been telling y'all this. They just came out with a movie called The Eternals. Same shit. I've been telling y'all this, right? You have 72 angelic beings locked deep within your genetics. Along with your chromosomes and your amino acids, which connect the hydrogen links that makes up your double helix. And you, you actually have three, not two. Human beings have two. All right. They have actually, yeah, they have two. All right. And they don't have DA. They have DNA. Meanwhile, you have you have three. All right. They'll tell you that you got two, but you have three. And you have the hydrogen links that connect them because you breathe hydrogen. Just like the sun is made composed mostly of hydrogen and carbon. Okay? You're the carbonated being from which the sun was created. But you also have a pineal gland which connects you to that sun. And you receive downloads from these, your ancestors and other highly advanced beings through the sun. All right? They send it to the sun. The sun sends it to you every nine minutes. It used to be every eight minutes, but as we've been going through the blind, after we went through the line gates portal, you get it every nine minutes now, because everything at nine, we back to nature, all right? So, now, along with the messages that are coming through your pineal gland, like I've been telling you, you have chromosomes in you, all right? Chromosomes are many solar systems within you, many suns with whole solar systems around them. These are your cells, the nucleus. Okay? Now, on top of that, you have 144 aura nodes. 
They all over your body at different points. Each aura node is a is a is a um is a pressure point. So you know how like you can hit somebody in the right spot, right? Temple here, here, certain spots, and you can kill them. Alright? That's those are your aura nodes. Where the pressure points are, and people that practice martial arts know this. They might not know that these are aura nodes, but if your pressure points on you, a person can touch and just kill you. These are, well, you can't die, but help make your soul transcend the realm. These are your aura nodes. You have 144 of them. Now, Bobby Hemmett was always talking about the 72 demons, right? Because these are, these are demonic forces. The demonic forces is these feminine energies in you, but you also have 72 angelic forces within you. All right, because remember, they, we are the original angels. When you see in pictures of angels with these wings, that's the way some of us appear. We are the original angelic beings, though, regardless, because these are the feminine energies within you. Okay? These are the feminine energies that are within you. So these, the first set of angels. Okay? And the reason these feminine energies are in you is because when we, when we, these indigo children who came back now, all right, we're sent here from the Anunnaki goddesses and gods in our species back home on Sirius X to come here and get the planet back. We embodied all these energies because that's what we come to do, right? That's why we the last generation, y'all. This here now. All the youth, the elderly, we represent a whole generation. Everybody from zero up to the age of 72, we are the generation. The Indigo Church started being born 1950. On back, all right. So these are the first angelic beings, all right. But we aren't we aren't the ones to talk them, okay. Now, I mean, well, we talk them, but these aren't the um the angels that are speaking through numbers. So, so, so should I say? Excuse me. Now, the second set of angels are guardian angels, okay. The guardian angels are called guardians because they are guarding you and protecting you. From this light cold lockdown, they do that through numbers, people, places, and situations. They warn you, they lead you, they always talking through numbers, they love numbers. Your guardian angels are talking to you through numbers all day, every day. All right? So this is why you see certain numbers repeat. This is why you was born, you land on a certain date. This is why you like certain numbers. Everybody got a favorite number. You think about it. Right? The guardian angels are an advanced race of beings who basically watch over the planet, watch over the gods. And they also help, they also help the human beings, but they cannot intervene without your permission. All right? However, so they they sneak, they send, they send, they shoot numbers at you. Now, the third set of angels are the archangels. The archangels are like Michael, Gabriel, uh, Uriel, uh, Remiel, Ragiel, Sariel, all right? They mention seven, okay? But it's way more archangels than that, okay? Just like if you look up fallen angels, they're going to they gonna list, they list seven, and it's way more fallen God, angels than that fallen gods, okay? They, 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 they do that to throw you the fuck off, all right? They do that to throw you the fuck off. You got archangels, guardian angels, and angels. All right? We are the angelic beings because we are the original principles who embody that energy. We are the original angelic beings. These are feminine energies that are within you. So that's what makes you that. Because it was a race of us. It was a race of angels that existed upon the time that walked along this realm. All right? But when we fell into a frequency, most of those energies collapsed within themselves to come within us so that we can possess all that power like we used to have originally, right? So these are your 72 angels and your 72 demons which come together to make the 144, right? So when they always spoke about the 144 in the Bible, they were talking about the 144,000 original spiritual assassins, gods, and goddesses who descended down here. And they were also talking about these 144 angels and demons that exist within you that once it unleashed, it, it, they, this, these are your genetics. Once they are unlocked, you are at your full capacity and power. That's why the movie Eternals is kind of tapping into that. But I've been to about the Eternals and shit like that because 
I knew as a kid, they always spoke about this. If you read a lot of anime comic books, the comic books give you all the game about our history. No lie. All right. So now the guardian angels, they just, they just watch over the realm and they, and they guide you. They guide you. Most motherfuckers don't listen though, because they are not that sensitive to be guided. They don't know to look up numbers when they see them over and over again. But now your archangels, this is an extraterrestrial race. Okay? So these they are not us. They are an actual extraterrestrial race. All right? However, they are a part of us. They are a warrior race from the astral realms. Extraterrestrial race. The archangels. All right? Very powerful beings. Michael is one of the most strongest, you know what I'm saying, of the archangels. Okay? These, they are they only can step in when you call on them to help you. Okay? These archangels exist as well. Okay? But they are on our side. So you got three different levels of angels. Okay? But they are they are we are they we are all on the same team, though. That's the good thing. Angels, they're the original angelic beings, which is the energies that are already in you. Your guardian angels, who are the the race of beings of angels that watch over you, and they are these are the ones who use numbers to talk to you. And then you have your archangels. That's why they call arc. Because the arc represents the firmament. All right. They are the warriors who step in. You got a lot of different types of archangels. You got cherubim, seraphim. When I say the the our it's our our species are so advanced and it's so many different, it's so many of us, and so many different versions of us, it's amazing. All right? And your archangels are completely separate from us Anunnaki gods and goddesses. And Lyras and Blue Avians and Nomos and Nagas and, you know, the Orions and all these other different Andromedans. You know, it's all different type of extraterrestrial races. And then you have interterrestrials. All right. So these are the beings that live within planets on, on other realms. They are interterrestrials. All right. We being the we we are the creator of all these beings, though, including the archangels, the guardian angels. That's how powerful we are. This is what make us God. Remember, in the Bible, who do the angels work for? Who do they, who they work for? God. So everything dates back to Sirius X. Remember, we created everything. But you must know the difference. And you have to work with every race. So even though we created the archangels, you wouldn't go to them like that. You would go to them humbly. Just like we created the energies that make up the power of the Orishas, the principalities. But they are good. Orishas are good energies and good principalities. And you have each Orisha energy already in you as well, too. So when you tap into the power of Papa Ogun, or Father uh, Obatsala, Father Orula, Mama Oya, Papa Shango, Papa Shango, however you want to enunciate it, you're basically tapping into deep, powerful ancestral energies that are already in you. This is what your ancestors was using to, to get away doing slavery. This is what they used to win in the Haitian Revolution. Because it all comes back to you anyway. These are all a part of you. The kingdom of heaven, this astral realm, this, this quantum realm rather, that's all inside of you. Supreme being, supreme God, black man, black woman, supreme black goddess. Hey God, hey goddess, supreme reflections. You are, you are remembering all that you created. And your creations are powerful as fuck. So what you think you are? Okay, so this is what you got to understand about why you need to pay attention to the numbers. So now we, we know the different angels and who the exact sect of, section of angels are that's speaking to you through numbers. It's your guardian angels because they are assigned to protect you. All right, but Satan, the cold brother, he like he, he, he come from us. So guess what? Just like every soul has a guardian angel, every soul has a fallen God that was assigned to you as well. That's why I'm doing a lecture on Sunday called Immortal Combat because we are immortal beings. We'll never die. The soul is immortal. And at your core, that's what you are. Soul, spirit, and energy. Life force. Never can be destroyed. Never can be created. You are all you always was. Energy cannot be destroyed. The energy cannot be created. And at your core, that's what you are. You always was. Before time, it was you. Remember, manifested ourselves out of dark matter energy. We ain't need nobody. Everything revolves around us. Every universe has suns that, that revolve around it. Every galaxy has suns that revolve around it. Most of these planets got suns that revolve around these planets. And we created all these suns. That's why all of them are in us. You have the entire multiverse right within you as well. You can, you can go to any universe 
any planet, any galaxy can control it right from sitting right here. That's how powerful you are, ancient ones. Welcome home. It's been a long time coming. You see? But understand you have, understand why they use numbers. Because what are numbers? Symbols. So don't, you're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Those are symbols. And the highest number is nine. But all numbers represent energies. Because remember, anciently, we always talk through symbols. This is why our ancestors used hieroglyphics. Because we know that the thalamus, which is located in the brain, which we created along with the pineal, the neocortex. You know what I'm saying? All, all of these things that are inside of this advanced te technology, because that's all you are is technology. We made it that way. We had 2,000 uh, live viewers. That's what's up, University. We made it that way for a reason. Notice with the angels, they always show the, they say that they so, the archangels so powerful that you can't look at them or the guardian angels. That's how you are at your core. At your core, you that powerful, they can't look at you. You brighter than the sun at your core. Okay? So you got to understand the connection to numbers, why they use numbers, what exact section of angels are using numbers to communicate with you, to guide you, to help you. And why numbers? Because numbers represent symbols, ancient symbols. Every nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All these are ancient symbols that they didn't flip upside down or sideways and called to the three. A three, a three ain't nothing but a ain't nothing but a um. What you say? No. A three ain't nothing but an M. Standing up. A two ain't nothing but a a backwards N sideways. A one ain't nothing but an I. What's a four? A I with an L sideways. What's a five? A, a, a sideways I. I mean, a, a, a L with a half circle on it. What's a six? You can do this with every number. Six, seven, eight, nine. A eight is two S's. A seven is an upside down L. A six is an upside down P. A nine is a, a, st a P standing up right. All the numbers equate to alphabets. They're all symbols. Right? So this is why we use them. This is why the guard, your guardian angels use them. Because they want to talk to you directly. But due to the food and the fluoride, most of us don't know how to connect directly. Most of us don't just learn how to meditate. So they got to come and talk to you at your level because they know that you are like this. You locked down right now energetically against your own will. So that's what makes numerology so powerful. And no, ain't no white motherfucker named Pythagoras created that. He was in Greece. And who you think talked to Greece? The Greeks. They sat down to learn with us. Remember that. Remember that. Remember who you are. Not who they told you you are. Remember who you are. Remember who you are. What you are. Why you are, when you were, why you came. You are the center of the multiverse. And the multiverse is the center of you. I repeat, we are the center of the multiverse. Black man, black woman, Latino man, Latino woman, gods and goddesses. And the multiverse is the center of you. So if you look up right now, you have certain numbers that they call master numbers. There's only three. Why three? Because we understand the power of the three, the six, and the nine. All right. I'll break that down. The Trinity, how that works. I'll have a lecture on that soon. But it's only three master numbers. The three master numbers is 11, 22, and 33. You see? So... These master numbers come associated with certain energies and messages. One is like a gateway. The ones are a symbol, a symbology. So 11 represents a gateway. If you look at 11, it's like going through a gateway. That's why if you see 11, 11, it's always going to represent new beginnings. See what I'm saying? It's, it's a gateway. We have a gateways. 22, you see what I'm saying? That's a symbol. Those are symbols. 33, those are symbols. Okay, 
And they call these master numbers. But everything is actually backwards. Zero is nine. Eight is one. Seven is really two. Three is really six. And four is really five. I repeat, zero is really nine. Eight is really one. Two is really three. Uh, two is really seven. Three is really six. And four is really five. See? Check this out. What's zero and nine? Nine. What's, what's, what's one and eight? Nine. What's two plus seven? Nine. What's three plus six? Nine. And what's four plus five? Nine. I'll repeat that for you. Zero is really nine. One is really eight. Because they tell you zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's how harmonic we are. It's perfection. And everything will always come back to us. Nine, which is where we come from. X. 19 galaxy, ninth universe, nine ether beings. Okay? So nine, they got you thinking zero is, is in nine, zero is the lowest up to nine. But no, zero is really nine. One is really eight. Two is really seven. Three is really six. Four is really five. See what I'm showing you? And then what's zero plus nine? It's nine. If you go nine plus zero, you at nine. You do one plus eight. Nine. Two plus seven. Nine. Three plus six. Nine. Four plus five. Nine. I'm going to let that marinate on y'all souls. The angels speak through numbers. Your guardian angels, to be exact. But you created those. You created those beings. You also created the archangels. They work for you. God. Heaven is the astral realms. Heaven is within you. So is hell. Because you have a higher self and a lower self. This is the secrets of numerology. This is why me, I'm divine insight. Grandmaster teacher of the 8th universe. When did I land here? 1122. Two master numbers. I was sent here to build. I am the 119th soul ever created. And that's why my birth date, my solar return date, 11 plus 22 plus 86 equals what? 119. You drop the one because that represents 19, 19th galaxy. See what I'm saying? In numerology. See how even my days all end up nine. I was the 119th soul ever to be created. I'm a blue dragon. See? Blue is the warmest for part of the flyer, not the not 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 orange. The Kundalini energy is rising, it's blue. See? I'm a divine being sent to help you remember who you are. That's why my landing date is that, 1122. Two master numbers. I'm called, a, I'm considered a Scorpitarius, half Scorpio, half Sagittarius. The Scorpitarius is considered the cusp of revolution. You see how we, we make it all make sense? This is why my spiritual name, my cosmic name is Divine Insight. This is what I was sent to do, to enlighten you and inform you, to help you remember who you are, because you are an eternal. Y'all the eternals. I'm an eternal as well. You see, I've been here. Even when I left here, I still left a piece of, piece, piece of me here. I was here first as Toussaint El Overture. I helped lead the Haitian Revolution. You see, that was one past life. Then when I left that vessel, I still stayed here in, in energy to teach from the shadow realms without a vessel. Then I needed another vessel, so I selected one and signed up for the soul contract to be a part of this indigo race that was going to help revote and get the planet back. The angels speak through numbers. It's no coincidence that I came 11-22. And that 11 plus 22 plus 86, which is the, my landing year, adds up to 119. You do the math. 19 
and times one is 19 because I come directly from the 19th galaxy from headquarters Series X I'm not no regular being that came back very high up in the cosmos so is my wife too even the judge said that when she married us in the physical she knew I didn't know I was marrying royalty and many of you that are awoken you are advanced. That's why you are woke right now. Everybody can't grasp this. Everybody can't understand us. So don't feel bad because a lot of you are ancient souls. And only the ancient souls are going to awaken. That's why I say now we rise. I'm talking to us. I'm talking to all the souls. I know who my soul tribe is. I know each and every one of you. I don't have to say your name. That's for you to find out. Because if I told you who you was, you wouldn't believe me anyway. You got to find out on your own. But this is why numerology is powerful. But know exactly what it is. Know exactly who the three different races of angels, angelic beings are. And know who created them. Remember, I am everything and everything is me. Remember that. That's what you should say to yourself every day. I am everything and everything is me. You were chosen. You were chosen. So when you see numbers repeating, look them up. Because when you go on Google, we so powerful through this internet. Internet, eternals, internet, the network within us eternally, internal. You get it? So we still connect and communicate through every source, including this internet. So when you see numbers repeating, go look them up. Right now the clock say 1107. You can literally, you can look up any number because we use all of them. And if you see a repeat, that's a message. And I couldn't get this lesson publicly. I didn't want to. They wouldn't they should block and delete it anyway. Because I just gave y'all the keys to a higher plane of existence. An ancient doorway I just unlocked right here. Now, can you take them keys and, and go further with your enlightenment? Because you are a source. At your core, you're something more than you could ever imagine. Yes, you're a soul and a spirit. Yes, you're a God, but you're, you are more than that. Source didn't just create you to be a part of an advanced race called the Anunnaki gods and goddesses. The creators of all, you are even more powerful than that reflection. And y'all, my soul tribe. So that's why I say peace. Reflection. Numbers are just symbols. Every number looks just like an alphabet if you look at it. In every alphabet, you can make it into a number. Why? Because once again, I am everything and everything is me. There is no separation, only the light. But the light will never be stronger than the darkness. Even now, you have to pay with your energy to keep the lights on. But it's free to let the motherfuckers go out. You have to pay to keep the light on, so that's a false sense of, a, of illusion. The darkness is permanent. But they tricked the whole world, Satan and his minions, to believe that the light, come into the light, Get out of darkness. Carbonated beings, non ether energy, dark matter energy. I am the darkness. You're full of seven, 144 feminine energies, angels and demons that are being unleashed right now. That's why they scared of this solar flare. We're going through a pole ship. They know what time it is. They're making all type of movies about us and hitting that shit. That movie Marvel's Eternals. They talking about us, y'all. The Woken Ones. That been here. We never left. We come and go, but we still keep a piece of our energies here. We are multi-dimensional beings. Remember that. I got a lecture I'm giving tomorrow on the ZRV16 virus. It's going to be a public on Instagram. Y'all tune into that. A lot of y'all been ordering crystals. The store is restocked. And them bitches selling back out fast again. Me and wife, we will be shipping out again starting Monday. So don't even trip if you order some crystals in this, in this last upcoming week. 
we will be shipping out. But I just gave y'all a very deep divine download. I need y'all to take that and meditate on that and take it even further. Don't stop at what I've taught you, told you. You take that and you go further, as far as you want to go, because knowledge, information, enlightenment, insight is everlasting. Remember that. Nobody can limit your insight. I'm just here to give you keys. Now, you take them keys and you add more keys. And you pass them on to somebody else. You don't limit it. And if a download come to you that's a little different than what I told you, that means it was meant to come to you. You take that and you add it on top of that and you go harder. You don't limit yourself for nobody. Not even me. Because I am you and you are me. You see? I love y'all reflection. Peace to the guys and guys of Planet Kai. I'll see y'all tomorrow on Instagram publicly. We on YouTube publicly Sunday. Two powerful lectures back to back. Album on the way, high frequency, only the real gonna relate. Now we rise. One.